Hello once again. This little video is going to demonstrate and show you how to use the, Ger the Gale Virtual Reference Center Library. Again, this is a database housed at Watson Library and it is a database of reference materials, for example, dictionaries, encyclopedias mostly. So you will find encyclopedia articles, which are very short and precise um, articles on many, many, many different topics. And again, this database can be used not only for this art class, but throughout your career here at Northwestern, in, um, enriching your research experience. Or perhaps you want just to learn about something very briefly and an encyclopedia article will do that for you. Uh, these encyclopedias are peer-reviewed and are used by professionals. Okay, uh, Very different from Wikipedia, which is an open source um, encyclopedia which is not to be used for this course or pretty much any course on the college campus. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to do is go to NSU's homepage, www.nsula.edu. You're going to go to University Libraries and click on it. <clears throat> From here, you're going to get to the University Library page. Okay, and here it is. Uh, again, you can go down this menu and use get to the database directories here, or you can click here to search for database directories. So I'm going to click here takes me to the database directory page. For this course I want Art, Music, and Humanities. So you click that. And here is the Gale Virtual Reference Center Library. Again, the encyclopedias, the online encyclopedias. And of course here you have all of the encyclopedias that they they have for, for us to use. Okay, and again you can see it, you can research any topic for any course here. So we're going to go to the Arts and Humanities <clears throat> through the era and we're going to do a search for, again, I'm going to stick to the Marode Altarpiece, so M-E-R-O-D-E -E. and this is a basic search. Let me do a search for this in the subject. There we go. So the subject of the Marode altarpiece occurs in six, there's six results. It tells me right here. Okay, and so what I want to do now is, is start reviewing these and seeing which one I would like to use. You can see this is the New Catholic Encyclopedia, this is Encyclopedia of World Biographies, this is Encyclopedia of the Humanities. Um, let's look up Robert Copin. I happen to know that Robert Copin is the artist who painted the Marode altarpiece. Um, here's a brief biography. Okay, so let's just look at this two page one. So I'm going to click on it and once again you get taken to the article and here it is. Okay, uh, you can look at it here and decide if you want to use it or not and let's say oh yeah this is short and to the point. Um, you can see the Marode altarpiece is highlighted in here, so there's information about that. And so what you want to do now is possibly cite it. So you're going to go to the citation tools, You're going to, being as you've decided to use it. This is the MLA citation. Again, remember, we want to use the Chicago style, or, and, or Turabian is the person who wrote the book on the Chicago style. You're going to click Select. It's going to highlight the entire thing. Okay, and then you're going to, I, I'm just going to copy it. So, copy this information, and you can see it has a hanging indent and everything. It's perfectly formatted. And then, of course, you're going to go to uh, Word. You're going to open up a page. Here's one. I, I, I did it earlier, so let me do it again. And you just paste it in, or you, you can just paste it in. Okay, and here it is, and it's perfectly done. You don't need to even reformat it or do the hanging indent. And then you save it. Right? So here is your citation. Once you've done that, you now maybe want to print the email, this article, 
or you can download it. I like to download it as a PDF. So here's Robert Compan downloaded on the desktop. Okay, Robert Compan and I'm going to say two, okay, because I already have one on my desktop. And I'm going to save it. Okay, and so it is, I think, right here. See, Compound Robert 2. And if you click it open, here it is. It starts here. This is another article, right? But Robert Robert Compass starts here. It goes down to here. Okay? And so you can read all about it. You can highlight it, all those kinds of things when you get it in Acrobat or pre Preview. Another thing that's interesting about um, GVRL is you can listen to the article. So let's say you've been reading all day and you're just tired. Or perhaps you, perhaps you have a um, visual disability. Uh, it's difficult for you to read small type. You just play it. Campen, Robert. Robert Campen. Circa 1376 to 1444. Painter. An urban painter. Robert Campen, D. 1444 exemplifies the late medieval urban artist with his middle-class connections and civic activism. Okay, so it will read the articles to you, which is a really nice thing as well. So the Gale Virtual Reference Library, a wonderful resource for you to use throughout your academic career here at Northwestern State.